how overflows without love life has no poetry in it a greater fear than death grips you whenever you are in love that is why love has disappeared from the world rarely very rarely rarely does the phenomena happen when love descends what you call love is just a false coin you have invented it because it is so difficult to live without love it is difficult because without love life carries no meaning life is meaningless without love life has no poetry in it without love the trees exist but never blossoms without love you cannot dance you cannot celebrate you cannot be grateful you cannot pray without love temples are just ordinary houses and with love even an ordinary house is transformed and transfigured into a temple without love you just remain possibilities empty gestures with love for the first time you become substantial with love for the first time the soul arises in you the ego drops and the soul arises moving forward moving towards love is moving towards an abyss moving towards love is like moving towards an abyss one stands wavering one feels dizzy go to a height in any mountain himalayan mountain or any and look down at the valley that valley is no thing when you look down at the valley of love tremendous fear grips you you are almost paralyzed now you cannot run away you cannot take a jump either you simply tremble in infinite fear what to do going back is not possible because love is a great attraction love calls your depth love calls your future love calls your potentiality then love gives you the glimpse of what you can be you cannot run away from it and you cannot jump because cost is too high you will have to drop yourself all that you have been thinking yourself to be the image the past the identity all these things you have to drop but i tell you the only cost the cost only seems to be too much before the jump it seems very expensive but all this is happening before you take the jump then you will know that whatsoever you have given up is nothing and when you have attained what you have attained is infinitely valuable the fear remains only as long as you remain at the shore and you have not taken a dive deep within the ocean of love
because when you take a dive then you will realize what you have attained is infinitely valuable let me tell you a paradox love demands that you drop all that you do not have love demands that you drop all that you do not have false identity ego sense a storehouse of the memory all these things you do not have you seem that you are happy and love offers you love offers you all that you already have all that you already are love wants you to get rid of that which you do not have when you think that you have love in its purest form is sharing of love in its purest form love is sharing of joy sharing of your bliss <coughs> sharing of your celebration it asks nothing in return remember love asks nothing in return it expects nothing hence how can you feel hurt and if you feel hurt in love that means you have considered something else as love <laughs> when you do not demand when you do not accept expect there is no possibility of being hurt your experience of love is that love hurts it brings misery because you expect something out of love when you do not expect there is no possibility of being hurt then whatsoever comes whatsoever happens is always good and fulfilling if nothing comes that too is good and fulfilling because there is no expectation love becomes a misery only because there are tremendous expectations in you out of love greed money this that respect all these things when whatsoever comes is good if nothing comes that too is good your joy your joy was to give not to get love is sharing sharing what you have sharing your presence sharing your awakening sharing your energy sharing what you are your and it is a joy to share to give whatsoever you have and you do not expect anything out of love then one can love from thousands of miles away love needs no closeness it is beyond time and space it is the pulse within then you can love from thousand of miles away there is no need for even to be physically present introspect if this is not your experience if you have tasted the nectar of love this nectar of love needs no physical presence 
this you have to feel within it is like the Wi-Fi you may be thousands of miles away from one another yet still you can commune love is invisible inner net that is not seen it is unseen but realized truth and realization happens deep within that there is someone who I feel whose presence I feel surrounding me each finite moment then from thousands of miles away you can feel this experience this live this and there is no need to even be physically present then love is a spiritual phenomenon then love is a spiritual phenomenon indeed love is the only spiritual phenomenon that gives you tremendous fulfillment lust is physical ego is psychological and love is spiritual there are three dimensions lust is physical you know it as sex and other things ego is psychological your egocentric identities are psychological and love is beyond the physical beyond the psychology it is spiritual remember without love there is no poetry in life there is no rhythm there is no harmony in life there is no song there is no dance in life and now